Hey everyone, welcome to another Goody Weeder tutorial video. My name is Michael, and today we're going to teach you how to load ebooks on the Kobo Glow HD. As you can see it here, we have done a number of really detailed reviews and comparisons on this. So you can simply go to our website here, goodyreader.com, and search for Kobo Glow HD, and you'll find a lot of comparisons between other Kobo e-readers as well as other popular ones, such as the Nook Glow Light, the Kindle Paperweight 2, the Kindle Voyage, and a myriad of others. Uh, today I'm going to teach you how to load ebooks, and I'm going to show you a few programs here First of all, we have Adobe Digital Editions. You're going to want to use this program if you buy ebooks in the EPUB format or PDF format from other ebook stores, not including Barnes & Noble, but a lot of online retailers will sell content EPUB PDF and for purchase content you need Adobe Digital Editions cuz you need to verify your purchase. For all other ebooks, we're going to look at Caliber, which is a very powerful tool to not only load ebooks on your device but also uh, edit them and make sure that all the metadata is correct and finally we'll look at good old Windows Explorer this is the most popular method but it's not the most advanced I'm going to show you them all today first of all here is Adobe Digital Editions we have the Kobo e-reader plugged into our PC and because it's plugged into our PC, it gave a prompt on the Kobo e-reader saying, do you want to connect and charge? I said, okay. So now that the Kobo e-reader is via the USB cable plugged in my PC, Adobe Digital Editions will recognize it. Now, how do you get this program? Well, it's simple. You just Google for it. It's a free download. Uh, they have a bunch of different versions. Versions 4 crashed for me, but you'll be able to find the latest and greatest versions as well as other versions here uh, by just simply Googling for it. Uh, but let's say that I purchased a book. I want to click File, Add to Library, and then I want to find an ebook that I have, Blood and Beauty. So I'm going to click on bookshelves and all items. As you can see, I'm on my Kobo e-reader and that book's not added. So if I want to add this book to my Kobo e-reader, I simply can just drag and drop it. And if this was a purchased book that was in DRM format, it may ask you for your login and password, which is merely the credit card that you use to purchase the ebook from whatever retailer. So you're not sharing your credit card details with anyone but Adobe. And this is just used to verify that you purchased the book. Now, if I click on devices, this book is now on my e-reader. Pretty simple. I really like Caliber. It's another free download. Just Google for it. That's how it's spelled. Now I'm going to add a book to the library here. Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn. So you can see there's uh, some cover art here, author, the format. All right. So a lot of the times when you download ebooks from the internet, they may not have the cover art for the book. The author's name may be the book uploader's name. <laughs> there could be a million different reasons why you want to be able to edit that stuff. But how do you do it? Well, Calibre really allows you to do it. So I opened up a book. I'm going to right click and click Edit Metadata and then Edit Metadata Individually. Now, say that the author's name was misspelled or, you know, uh, the book series name was like a website or something like that, or maybe the title and the author's name were in the same thing. Uh, you know, there, there could be a lot of things. So once you can establish the name of the book and the author name, you can actually download some metadata. And what it does is it queries Google and Amazon to be able to like fetch things like ISBN numbers, book descriptions. You can see here that there's a number of publishers here. So we'll just take the Google stuff. Now you can see here that there are 
some discrepancies between the Amazon and the Google edition. Let's just go with the Amazon edition so I can show you. Now the book cover has actually changed. Not only do we have an ISBN number now, but we actually have an Amazon ASIN number and a Google ISBN number has been added as well. So, and a book description has been added. So I'm going to click OK. Now if you look at this, it has a lot of, it has tags now. It has like, uh, like the book sort of synapse here. There's a lot of cool stuff that's just been added. And you could even swap out this cover art with your own cover art if you wanted to. So let's just say that the book now is, is the way that we want it. First of all, I'm going to save it to disk. And I'm going to make sure that this book now has been uh, successfully saved. Now, what I want to do is I want to copy this book to my Kobo e-reader. So it simply shows up as just device on Caliber, but it does show all the other things that are on my e-reader. So it's a PDF file, a few books that actually came with it, and one of the books that we added with Adobe Digital Editions. So what I want to do is simply I can drag and drop this. And it's been copied over. Alternatively, I could right click and then click um, send to device and send it to the main memory. Now, if you look at Windows Explorer here, some of the books, one of the books got added to the main directory. Another one just created like an author directory, first name, last name. Um, it's up to you how you want to manage your device. I like doing it with genres, you know, fantasy, science fiction, um, romance, whatever that you want to do, right? Um, I don't read a lot of romance books. I don't know why I said that, but I know a lot of people that do. Uh, simply, if you wanted to just copy an ebook to your device, you can just simply go to the ebook directory, click copy, go back to my Kobo e-reader. The drive number may be different on your computer than mine because I have like a lot of hard drives, and just click paste. So we've copied over three ebooks su successfully using three different methods. If you have any questions or concerns on what we did here today, or if you would like to uh, list, elaborate further on things, uh, kindly let me know. I think I was as detailed as I could possibly get here. In order to read these books now, you just unplug the Kobo e-reader from your computer and it will automatically populate your library with these and then you can create folders on your e-reader, you can do whatever. So I uh, showed you a few different ways. Uh, thanks for watching everyone. My name is Michael of goodyreader.com and everybody take care.